exclusivity. That's right, friends. Ash here, Gent Sense. Today, we're gonna be talking about fragrances that are exclusive. That way, you can have the fragrances and you can try to flex on someone who won't even actually care. That's how it always goes. But yeah, we're talking exclusive fragrances, ones that are really good, fragrances that I think you should maybe actually even go out of your way to try to smell because you might fall in love with it and then you're gonna wanna buy it. That's what happens, trust me, I know. Uh, let's jump into it, let's talk about them. All right, guys, we're kicking this off with a twofer, two fragrances, the same brand. And they are from Michael Malul. Shout out to uh, all the people over at Michael Malul. They good folks. This is the PSA where I tell you, of course, that uh, I work with Michael Malul. I know the people, I like the people. So there you go. But Christian Dior and like all those brands, I'm sure those are good people too. Like, <laughs> hey, Christian Dior, how's it going? But uh, yeah, Michael Malul, they launched two fragrances that are exclusive, see, get it? To the fragrance outlet. So the only place that you can get these two is in the fragrance outlet. They also launched fragrances for Perfumania that are also exclusive. So if you have one nearby, you know that's where you're gonna find them. And I'll leave a link in the description as well in case you wanna check these out. Go check out the fragrance outlet and see where stores are near you. Oh, it's me from the future again. Wow. So I did a video a little while back where I had the exclusive fragrances for uh, Michael Malul through Perfumania. Really good stuff. And they also have the two through the fragrance outlet. And they also have given us a code for these. Here's how it works. Pay attention. You have to text GENTS10, uh, but this time it's G-E-N-T-S-T-E-N. So you spell that out, gents10 all together, one word essentially. Text that to 42081 and then you'll get back a code. And that code you can use either online or in fragrance outlet stores for 10 bucks off your bottle. And that's for those exclusive Michael Malouls. So there we go, a code for you. Uh, again, for me from the future, I'm checking out, goodbye. The first fragrance is called Citizen Jack Mojave and this has a cool gradient which uh, of course I'm a sucker for. Give me a gradient and suddenly I'm like, wow, that's a great looking bottle. But it is, it looks good. It matches the box, you see? You can see. So this one is gonna be more of that sweet, warm, spicy, fall, wintertime, date night kind of fragrance. That's how it comes across. Like a really sexy scent. It's gonna be playing in that same ballpark as something like the One Eau de Parfum. Not that it smells exactly like the One Eau de Parfum or anything, just you would wear it at the same times and it's got that kind of sex appeal to it. It's got a good amount of cardamom and citrus in the opening, super pleasant. As it dries down, you get a little bit of lavender that comes out and then woods and elemy. So it has this kind of woody and ambery sweet dry down. As I said, this stuff's super appealing, cool weather, date nights, this is gonna crush it. And then the other one, Visionaire, oh, look at that bottle, nice. Gotta let me know which one looks better, the gradient with that kind of uh, light aqua green going into a, an orangish color on Mojave or the frosted glass. Here they are. Which one's better? So Visionaire Ohm, this is a completely different kind of fragrance from Mojave. This one has almost an icy citrus opening, like an icy brisk fresh open. Citrus once again, mandarin orange and lemon, the two citruses in the top here. As it dries down, you get lavender, pine, and musk along with a little bit of an aquatic accord and it becomes a more of a gentlemanly kind of fragrance as it dries down. Now this one I smelled during its creative process. I smelled the very first submission of this scent and uh, that one was a little bit more mature and then as time went on, uh, this version came to be and I think it smells better. The opening there, really good. That's my favorite part. Next up, Boss Bottled Oud Saffron from Hugo Boss. This is part of obviously the Boss Bottled Oud line and I should say that some of these fragrances, depending on where you live, are gonna be way easier to find. But then some of these are gonna be way harder to find if you live in the US, but then easy to find if you live in Europe or the Middle East. So do keep that in mind. So as I said, part of the Boss Bottled Oud line and it has a heaping dose of rose and saffron here, which is gonna set it apart from the original Boss Bottled Oud. For what it's worth, I do think it smells much higher quality than the original Oud, but it is gonna be potentially a little bit more divisive. For me though, 
an absolute love. This stuff is just next level as far as designer oud fragrances go. Absolutely worth seeking out. After that one, whew, stronger with you oud. Yeah, another another designer oud. This stuff is just fan. It has everything good about the Stronger With You line, that mass appeal, that compliment factor, that sweetness, that performance, but with obviously an added oud note, which is uh, definitely more on that easily approachable type of oud accord. You know, they're not going for anything crazy funky or weird here, but it does elevate that Stronger With You DNA, takes it to the next level. This stuff is just amazing in terms of the quality, the scent profile, the whole deal, fall and winter time, an absolute monster. The only problem, of course, it's hard to find in the US. All right, next one is Dior Homme Parfum. This is very difficult to locate in the United States. And when it does pop up, it ain't cheap. It is very, very, very pricey. If you're a fan though, of the Dior Homme line, especially the iris-based fragrances, then Dior Homme Parfum is a must own, in my opinion. The performance here is insane, apocalyptic. It'll last forever. It will project monstrously. You get a lot for your money. Dior Homme Intense is next level. Like I love Dior Homme Intense, one of my favorite fragrances of all time, especially when we're talking designers. In love with it, okay? And this stuff, it just takes it to the next level and beyond. The drawback for this one, if you want to call it that, which I guess you would, is that it's maybe even more difficult to pull off than Dior Homme Intense, like even fewer situations. But the leather in here with the iris truly is just a masterpiece of a fragrance. Let's switch it up to something completely different. Uh, 4711 Remix Cologne. This is the 2018 edition. So obviously this is a yearly limited edition. So there are other years that you could find a 4711 Remix. It is affordable from discounters. So it's not gonna cost you all that much money to pick it up. It is one of those scents that you basically just grab spray and go, you know, you can douse yourself with this. I mean, look at the bottle. 150 mils here. In case you were unaware, I guess, in case you were unaware of what 4711 is, it's an eau de cologne, so it's not gonna project heavily. It's gonna wear pretty close to the skin. Very fresh, obviously citrus forward, in case you couldn't tell by the orange splashed across the front of the bottle there. So this one has bitter orange, it has tea, it has a, a few other citrus notes, it's got musk and uh, neroli. So yeah, I mean, it's just a clean, fresh citrusy scent with a, a little bitter tinge to it. Let's go with another exclusive edition from the Middle East. It is Dolce & Gabbana's The One Luminous Night. Yeah, I had to feature Luminous Night. I mean, had to. The One Royal Night and The One Mysterious Night are also both very good. Absolutely worth checking out. If you only get one of them though, I would get Luminous Night. Unfortunately, Luminous Night is the hardest to find of the three, actually pretty easily the hardest one to find. When it does get into stock, it doesn't stay in stock long because it's one that people are seeking out. It's also the newest one. So, you know, it's not been out long enough for more people to pick it up. So that way when stock does come in, it can actually stay in stock. Oh man, you want compliments. This will get them for you. Sweet has a, a dry fruitiness to it. Uh, dates, one of the main notes in here, maintains that the one DNA, that warm uh, spiciness. This is just one of the best releases of the past few years, hands down, in my opinion. The one luminous night, if you see it, yeah, you might wanna get it. After that one, Low Medial Extreme from Guerlain. This is another one where if you're in the US, harder to find than if you're in Europe. This one's been out for a couple of years now, and I would have hoped that by now, would have been easier to find in the US, but it's not. And actually for what it's worth, this whole line, yeah, it's it's getting harder to find in general. So that's something. Tobacco, plum, of course, almond, tying it in with the other fragrances in the line and cinnamon, some of the notes in the fragrance. There's also a bit of leather in there as well once you hit the dry down in the base of the fragrance. This stuff is another scent that during fall and winter time is just exquisite. Like it will absolutely set you apart while at the same time, it has that, that compliment factor, that mass appeal. So it's one of those dual threat fragrances really, where it's gonna make you smell different than everybody else around you, but 
it's still going to be very appealing because sometimes it's easy to smell different, but you might not necessarily smell good to most people when you smell different. After that, Cavalli Womo Golden Anniversary. Now this one took me a while to get my hands on it. When it finally did pop up online, I scooped a bottle pretty quick. And in general, this is a line that I think is drastically underrated. Cavalli Womo, pretty much all of them, really good stuff. So this is another line and another fragrance that you can wear to smell different than other people but still smell appealing. And also the quality of this one, very good, top-notch stuff. It's got violet tonka and leather, some of the notes in the fragrance. It's a scent that is destined to never really take off in any kind of mainstream way, but it's also the type of scent that just about anybody that gets it in their collection is going to go, oh, a new secret weapon. Just something that's completely under the radar and yet the quality will knock your socks off. The issue of course with that one, as with a lot of these, just hard to find. Last one, Isimiyake Lodisi Porom Noir Ombre. Now this is one that was uh, very much like some of the other fragrances here, impossible to find, but it has of course popped up more recently. So you can find it now, just not really cheap. And interestingly enough, the perfumer that did this fragrance is the same perfumer that did this fragrance. So the last two done by the same person. Ooh, yeah. This stuff is really good. Once again, the quality through the roof. Vanilla is uh, one of the main notes in here, along with amber, saffron, leather, and cinnamon. So uh, obviously, once again, another fall winter time fragrance. When this first came out, uh, there was actually a big rush on people trying to grab the bottle and flip it online for crazy huge amounts of money. People were saying that this is essentially like a niche fragrance done by Isimiyake, and I kind of agree with that sentiment in the sense of saying that niche quality means high quality. As long as that's the sentiment, then yeah, right there with you. And actually talking about people flipping fragrances, a lot of these scents here have been the victim of that. People scooping up a bunch of bottles and then trying to sell it for inflated prices on eBay, which sucks. So I would of course say with any of these, uh, best thing to do is try to sample it first if you can. Uh, second best thing to do is not to pay an insane markup online to a scalper. Don't do that. To those of you scalping, mm, it's bad. Don't do that. So there we go. 10 exclusive fragrances that are absolutely worth seeking out, in my opinion. Some top notch stuff here. A big range of different scents. Kind of a big range, actually. Most of these are for fall and winter. Again, the new Malol fragrance is available only in the fragrance outlet exclusively in those stores. And if you go in there, use that code GENTS10, just whisper it. And also link in the description, once again, to the fragrance outlet's website where you can check and see which ones are near you. So you can go scope them out and the fragrance is featured as well. I'm out of here. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there and I'll see you again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.